Yo! What's up, rap potential followers? The vert runs for a little bit, which I shut it off with the key, but it runs. So now we're good to come out here, button up the rest of everything, get some coolant in this thing. I'm going to go ahead and tidy up all of this extra wiring that I don't need. So there's a lot of emission stuff. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to fix the big glob of wires that's in there. So I'll pull the intake manifold back off and tidy it up. So we are looking good in the neighborhood out here, which is awesome. So once the engine stuff, I'll get that sorted. I'm waiting on piping to come in for the intercooler and also my heat exchanger. So, if you recall, I had said running a water to air. So I ordered a dirt bike radiator. Basically like a replacement radiator for a Honda um, CRF 150R. So it's basically going to look just like one of these on mine over here. So, you see right there, it'll look similar to that but with no caps or anything. And then I also ordered a coolant overflow reservoir that's like a liter and a half. So it's going to be about the size of this box here. This is a water pump for a 2009 Toyota Prius. You may ask, why do I have that? Well, notice big inlets, outlets, two prong, 12 volt pump, pumps water. It's in a Prius. Toyota products got to be good, right? So this is what I'm going to use to run my water to air basically flow water through the water to air system. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to mount it I think somewhere down in here, or right here, I don't know. Somewhere down here, maybe on the frame rail, maybe I'll put it up in the bumper somewhere I haven't yet decided. So that's kind of on the agenda to start figuring out. Here today, my bullet intercooler. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but bullet intercooler, got all the fins in there. <coughs> Dang. All the fins in there. We got two three-quarter NPT fittings, or at least so I was told, but that looks like they're half-inch NPT fittings. So I'll have to check that because I want to put barb fittings on this, and then this will sit, ideally it'll sit like right here. So, and the lines will run down in the shroud, the intercooler pipes can just come up and over and around. So, also, I can't fit this inlet so I ordered a rotary works inlet it's gonna it just goes straight and then I'll snake my pipes off of that so it's coming together just basically gotta button up the coolant stuff and fix some wiring and then the motor will be good build the intercooler pipes and then we're off to suspension parts so a lot of the stuff down under here is all stock well it's gonna go away I'm gonna swap it one thing that I would hope most RX-7 people know, or just people wanting to get into RX-7s. If, if you buy a convertible, all the convertibles come with a set of four piston front calipers, their five lug, the big brakes. So this is what people would call like a turbo two brake setup. So reasons to buy a convertible number, whatever, big brakes. Looks like oil leak but I think that that is from all the oil that was in this whenever I hooked up my drain line I don't think I have any leaks but I will check it so gotta do that also I need to get secondary injectors and stuff hooked up because right now they're not and the plugs that are on this harness don't match the ones the injectors that I have so I need to find the proper injectors to fit those or just swap the plugs out which isn't too hard because it's just a standard RX-7 style regular two injector hookup. So, that is that. Time to get to work. What up guys? We're out here in the shop again. As usual, doing some work. We got <clears throat> parts in the mail. Couplers. To adapt from two and a half to two and a quarter for my intercooler, we got the heat exchanger. So this is going to go up in front of the radiator somehow. I'll make that work. It's going to kind of sit, you know, somewhere down in here, down in there. 
Maybe it'll be sideways, maybe it'll be vertical, I don't know yet. Either way, not going to see a whole lot of force, so we'll figure out how to mount that. This is actually a radiator for a Honda 150 dirt bike. Um, it's the left side, so the side without the cap, and I'll just cap off whichever. It's got two outlets on it, so I'll cap off the one I don't use. Notice, this is steel. Yes, I'm going to make my intercooler pipes out of steel. Reason being, I can weld steel. Can do it myself. Figure might as well do it in a medium that I can do. If at some point I decide that I need to save weight on this already heavy car with a full interior and full exhaust and all this other stuff, then I'll take them to somebody and have them make them out of aluminum or something. But for now, steel. So all of those coupled with this steel uh, little blow off valve flange. Yes, that's the words I was looking for. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start piecing this stuff together. So, I still have yet to uh, finish the hood. Um, I've got to go and redo the bottom of the hood and then um, ideally it clears. However, I should be able to go ahead and make all of this and make it to here. And if I have to lower it a little bit, all I have to do is really cut the shroud and it can kind of all go down. There's not much <clears throat> else that's in the way. <clears throat> Jeez. So, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of Start mocking everything up, getting a few pieces cut, getting a few pieces welded, a few things that I know I don't have to do, you know, coming off of here at that sharp of an angle, doing that whole nonsense and kind of get some couplers fit. I'm still waiting for my new inlet, so hopefully that comes this week or next week. And then the coilovers will be here next week as well. So, and I got the proper injectors for it, so I will be switching those out, which will be awesome. Have the right injectors. Notice they're not even plugged in right now, so got to do that. So, put the hood on. Not all the way, it's not bolted down, just set it up here. So you can see, right here, I can't make it latch. So I'm gonna have to lower the intercooler, maybe an inch or so, down into that. So I'd like to go far enough to where whenever I shut the hood it doesn't hit, so I think I'm just gonna try to lower it an inch. So, just test fit the hood, I've marked two straight lines basically where I think the meat of the taper kind of starts so just about in here about in here what I'm going to do is make a rectangle and then gradually the rectangle will grow as I lay this down in there however I just didn't want to cut a whole bunch out of this thing right away most likely though if you kind of eye this up it's probably going to have to sit down to about where the coupler is in there to clear and I can always kind of lower the shroud a little bit too although I had it at the highest point I believe so I'm probably going to be making a pretty decent sized cut in here but we'll give it a give it a shot see what happens if I end up having to cut you know a decent amount of the sides too to get it to really sit down then then we'll go ahead and do that can always find more stock FC shrouds there's a lot of people taking these off cars and putting electric fans on so We'll make this work. All right, making progress. So, there is now a hole in my shroud. Fits pretty nicely, so the tubes will go down in there. Sits down in there. I probably have, I don't know, really not too much room between the, the uh, inlets and the thing. I think I'm sitting on the inlets, actually, so. What I'm going to do now is put the hood back on. So, I've got the hood latched right now. Sitting nice and flush up here. Still have some room. Go down with it before it hits. Send it back here. I did latch it, so I've got to pop it again. Pops right back up. So, Fitting mighty fine now. What? Yo. So here's what I've come up with so far. I've got this one fitted in here. Should have fit good and tight in there. Resting very nicely. Got them pointed about right. Made a little 90. Still got some clearance between this and the radiator hose. So no moving locations so that shouldn't really rub apart. But there is some air space under there. So now I just need to make a pie cut of sorts. 
That'll bridge this gap. We'll weld those two together. And then most people will bead roll the end of their intercooler pipes so they don't pop apart. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just throw like a really light one inch tack weld. Not really tack weld, but just like a one inch bead on opposite sides of the end. So that way whenever I put my clamp down, so if I have like a little bead right here, when I put my clamp behind it, it can't slide off. I don't really want to bead roll steel. I'm only going to run it on wastegate spring pressure, pressure for now. I'm not going to turn the boost up really at all. So just wanted to make sure that it runs, that it's safe. And I think that'll keep them from popping off for now. But I'm liking how this is turning out. These will be black, so it should look pretty clean. We got the first one there. I'm also going to be painting this guy black. So however I decide to kind of configure this, I got a little bit of wiggle room, but it'll probably sit right about there. And uh, get these pipes ran. So I think the harder one, obviously, will be snaking it, kind of snaking it back this way over top of the battery terminal. I don't, I'm going to have to make sure I put a cover over the battery. Um, I don't want the short now, and then this will run. I'll probably have to move the spark plug holder, go back through there, and then the other one. So the right side one will be significantly harder than this one, but for now, this is looking pretty good. Welder's going off. Look what we made. Cold side pipe number one, done. What's up, guys? Another day, more intercooler piping. So... I've made this far, taped it together, little pie cut thing here to go down. I've got this piece, which fits in here and points me straight back, but I need to turn it back to the left a little bit, that way. And then here's the ultimate dilemma. So I bought this fancy Rotary Works 3 inch inlet. Notice. One hits my oil filter, which sucks. So I have to shorten it because we can't be having contact with this with the oil cooler or oil filter. Because once I put a, a coupler on there, it's definitely gonna hit the oil cooler. So we're gonna have to notch this baby back a little bit, which kind of sucks. But whatever, have to cover up the fancy Rotary Works logo, but that's okay. So. Once I have it shortened, I bought a 90 degree coupler to go on here, like just a 90 coupler, but I don't think I'm going to need it. I think what I'll do when I shorten it is I can just run, okay, let me put this wire out of the way, it keeps like to pop back up in there, sit down, right here, this is kind of a 90. If I lay this in, stick it in the end of that rotary works in intake pretty far, it sits in there pretty good where I could just section the this piece to sit here and make those two connect. So, I don't know. I think I'm going to go ahead and put this next piece in because I need to get to here anyways. Once I get to here, maybe cut that shorter and see what happens. What's up? I made some progress. So, had it done to here. Another pie cut, 90 bend, fits in nice and tightly, doesn't touch this. This is still too long, but I'm going to cut it. Got it all clearanced. Look, there's some air space between it and the brake. This power steering line should fit back where it is. It'll just need to be on there. Notice, boom, it'll go. It can flex around the intercooler pipe just because it's a little bit tight. So. Had to take it off just for ease of entry. But I'm going to go ahead, tack this thing together. Once I get the 90 fitting for this, I'm going to see if I can either cut this here and run the 90, or most likely I'll just get a straight fitting and uh, shorten this guy up a little bit and then shorten this guy up too. They'll make together. Boom. You miss the oil filter. The one thing that will suck is when you got to change the oil filter on this thing, you're going to have to take the intercooler pipe off just to be able to get your hand in there to get to it. No big deal, but sucks. Problems with wanting to keep power steering. So, I am pretty stoked. My clearance down in here, we're not hitting that. Just barely, not hitting that, just barely. It is sitting on this little bracket right here for the uh, fuse block. 
So what I might do eventually is put some sort of tab on the intercooler pipe to mount it here so that it doesn't flex or it can just kind of rest on it and I'll put some uh, maybe like weld a little plate on the outside of the intercooler pipe right there just so that way it doesn't uh, rub it through not that it ever would but it is just sitting on plastic so not too worried about it but it's looking sick now we got intercooler piping plumbed looking good so much, I would say it's easier ton easier to do it this way in my opinion than to like cut the bumper and try to fit a front mount up in here I mean I know it's been done a gajillion times but I kind of like not having a front mount I like having all the space up here um, to get air through the radiator instead of going through that front mount and then making my engine get hot this car will get driven in traffic to work in the summer because I have AC and with the clutch fan I never had issues with it ever getting hot still retaining AC and power steering so proven we're gonna keep trying it if I have to upgrade the radiator in the future I will if not it's gonna stay like this so I'm gonna go ahead weld all this stuff up I'm gonna leave you guys off there thanks for tuning in thanks for watching the next video with this should be running starting tuning stuff like that I got coilovers coming next week so those will go on that'll be pretty easy but it should be running for sure, like running good and playing with the tune and stuff in the next video. I got the hood ready for paint too, so that'll be on. And we'll be pretty much done with all the fab work on this thing. So it's been coming right along. I'm pretty pumped. We'll get all this stuff tidied up pretty and painted before the next one. So, again, thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe. Sorry it's been a lot of builds and not a lot of fun, but got to build them before you can have fun with them. So this thing will be done soon and we'll be taking her to the dragon. Keep it red. All right, well, I forgot. Blow off valve. So, plenty of room, maybe stick it. Stick him right here. Or maybe I should stick him over here. I don't know. Leave your thoughts in the comments. I think that this intercooler pipe it's going to have to come off to do much much of any maintenance to this thing, but that's fine. I'm thinking I put them right there. I kind of like it right there. Hides that little area. You can still see the pulleys to get to the belts. And if a belt chucks, it won't hit it. And I can plumb the, the line a little better. So I think he's going to go out here. But anyways, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Might put it here. Might put it here. I don't think it'll fit back there. Ideally, it's close to the intake manifold, but that's going to hit the hood. Do it like that. Yeah, leave a comment. I kind of like it on this side. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Keep it rad.